You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, sports has been woke for a good little while now, mainly since uh, 2020. Now, you guys know I used to be a massive NBA fan. I used to love watching the NBA. But in 2020, everything changed with the NBA. They embrace who they fully are. The NBA is a communist organization that masquerades itself as actually playing basketball. I was out on that. They went full political. They alienated half of the country. They embrace Marxism. And I had to be out. I wasn't the only one, guys. There was a whole bunch of other ones. Now, in that bubble, those players actually knelt for the national anthem. Disrespected this country. Now, in 2023, we're starting to see sports brands go woke as well. Adidas, Nike. I mean, Nike actually got Dylan Mulvaney, a biological man, to actually go out there, give this person a partnership for women's sports gear. Adidas, they put a full man in a bathing suit for women and marketed that. What is the sports world coming to? Now, let's go back to that NBA bubble now. There was one player that decided, you know what? I'm not going to kneel for the national anthem. I'm not going to embrace Marxism. That player was actually Jonathan Isaac of the Orlando Magic. And guys, we actually need companies out there to actually fight against woke companies like Adidas and Nike. Enter Jonathan Isaac. He is now taking up that fight against woke sports. Look at this, guys. Jonathan Isaac announces anti-woke sports apparel brand Unite Us. And this actually happened a few days ago. And we actually do have a video clip of the announcement. It's um, partnered with uh, Perger U. And we're going to do a reaction to that. But it says here on the Daily Wire, outspoken Christian and NBA star Jonathan Isaac is taking another stand against the leftist narrative sweeping the United States by launching a new sports and apparel company founded on the tenets of the love of God and country. Believe it or not, guys, there actually used to be a time when this country actually did embrace God and was actually, you know, proud to be Americans. Now, all these leftists out there, they don't mention God. They hate this country. So let's go ahead and um, look at this because Jonathan Isaac actually uh, tweeted this out here on uh, June 1st. And he tweets out retail brands have the freedom to go woke. We have the freedom to create an alternative. Unitas launches August of 2023. Stay tuned. So let's go ahead and uh, watch this uh, clip right here, guys. About the announcement of Unitas. Hollywood going woke was pretty easy to see coming. But what happened next? No one expected. Sports went woke. See that guy standing while everyone else is kneeling? That's Jonathan Isaac. He plays for the Orlando Magic in the NBA. He also happened to be one of the few NBA players who publicly expressed discomfort with supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. This all came to a head when the players on his team decided to collectively kneel. Yeah, all those players there kneeling in the name of Marxism. That's why I was out on the NBA. That's why I still have not watched an NBA game. Kneel during the national anthem. So he did what he felt was right. He stood. Now, Jonathan is launching his own apparel company called Unitas in hopes of bringing people together over love of God and country. Unitas is a sports and apparel company, and the basis of it for me is freedom. You have companies that are in that field who have made a conscious decision to um, either attack or undermine Christian values, you know, conservative values and things like that. And I think that they have the free choice to do so. 
as, as much as I disagree, but I feel that we also have a freedom to create what we want to create. Left to right, show me what you moving like. Ooh, feeling right, keep it moving side to side. The hope is to be able to sign athletes across all different sports and to create a real infrastructure of people who are in the sports world, moms and dads who want to buy their kids sneakers and clothes, but want to give their money to a company that they know is going to work towards bolstering their values. Ready to go, up in the way, moving the tide, starting the way. We can be proud of what we believe in. You know, we don't have to hide or be ashamed of it. As the day continues to get, you know, darker and darker and crazier and crazier, you standing up for what you believe in is only going to get harder, but it's only going to become more and more necessary. Road to die. Oh, you want to try. Left to right. But it didn't end in sports. So there you have it, guys. Jonathan Isaac creates Unitas, August of 2023. And I really do hope that um, his new company is very, very successful. We definitely need to support him on this because this is exactly what needs to happen to stop the woke culture in sports. He wants to get um, other athletes um, signed to his company. Hopefully it does work out because I do believe that there are other athletes out there that have the same values as Jonathan Isaac. Now, how many NBA players are actually going to support him in this? Don't know. A lot of those uh, players are definitely woke. They showed you that in, that in that NBA bubble when he was pretty much, I believe he was the only one that refused to actually kneel for the national anthem. All of these other players they bent the knee because they're cowards. Now, MLB, the Dodgers out there honoring an anti-Christian group because these organizations, they hate your guts. Stop spending your money with companies that hate your guts. Bud Light, Target, Nike. Uh, who's the other one? Adidas. They hate your guts. They don't support your values. So therefore, don't support them. Support companies that actually embrace your values, that identify with your values. Uh, shout out to uh, Jonathan Isaac, man. Hopefully this actually works out for him. Uh, you got you got to see a little bit of um, some of the designs there. Uh, looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to check it out in August of 2023. It's been a long time, guys, since I actually um, uh, bought some uh, sports apparel. But um, if I find something that I like, I will definitely support this guy because this guy is fighting the good fight. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.